Hey, how's it going? Sean here. So um, we're going to head out, Slim Swims, and uh, we're going to work this edge bite and see how we go. So stay tuned. It's a beautiful afternoon. Give you a look. While I'm in the background, Caitlin's on. How good is that? Caitlin, what are we thinking? What is it? Oh, cracking flatty. What was that on? On the penny. It's a favourite of yours. Flat head on cue. Well done to Caitlin. You're right for me just to. We'll let him go, yeah. Yeah, we'll let him go. We'll get the net. Just get him in the net. Yeah, I've got the drag off. Right, there we go. Look at that. You can even measure him in this net. How good is that? <laughs> Righto, so Caitlin, that's. You just opened up on about a 40 odd centimetre flatty on, on the pinfish. I haven't even finished my intro. How good is that? <laughs> Righto. So uh, yesterday the wind was howling and um, decided to do a bit of a clean out. So these are all my, well, our old plastics really, aren't they? Yeah. And um, Caitlin's nailed a flathead straight off the bat in her favourite colour and a pinfish. I think it's a 3 8 Demons jig head. And we'll just get that out of him. Caitlin's on the board. See you later, little dude. So. Quick, let me get back to Yeah. <laughs> So tell us what you're doing, Caitlin. Um, I was just... So we're on a shallow bank here, tide's pushing through. So where'd you cast? Uh, out into the middle. Yep. And then hopped it back all the way to about here. So right and on that drop off? Right up, yeah. Yeah. So you could feel him having a go at it? Yeah, I thought it was just like the weed things down there, but yep. um, I like did it. And <laughs> yep. So uh, what Caitlin just said is she pretty much cast out was hopping it in with the current which is exactly the direction we're going to work in and she managed to get one right on the drop so good times let's get amongst it all right so caitlin's on the board Second cast. It's not bad effort, hey miss? Pretty good, I reckon. <laughs> yeah. So, pretty simple plan today. We're just gonna work the edges and um, hopefully whack a couple of fish. What's the target species today, Caitlin B? What are we after? Flatties. Flatties? Yeah. So, flatties, I'm actually running a slim swim. Caitlin's running the three inch minnows and we're just basically seeing what's on this edge trying to stay out of the wind yep. on again jeez pinfish killing it what are you doing oh uh, you know just supporting my daughter catching fish pretty cool oh, should i even net it hopefully you lose it no nah, just joking what are you doing <laughs> so yeah just a there you go pretty cute. He is a cute little one. Yeah. Just a little dude. Another fish. See you later little fella. Yeah, it's wrong way. <laughs> Alright, go that way. Oh, yeah. You should have put him that way because you <sighs> have to have him here. <laughs> Talk it up. Right. Tell you what I'm going to... Are you changing your frog? No. Oh, you thought I was already changing. Yeah. I thought about it. I was like, geez, might need to. You do love the pinfish though. That is that is your favourite. It's a favourite. So ideally we would position ourselves a little bit further off the bank. But we've kind of got to run through this. There's a quite a tight little channel we need to get through. And there's some oyster, old broken oyster racks and stuff on the other side, so kind of just working this edge it's quite shallow up on on that top section there where all the mangrove roots are because we don't have a full tide so we, we're literally just for, just casting our plastic short of the edge and working the deeper pockets of water and no sounder in the pump today but I'd be guessing we're probably in a meter and a half to maybe two meters of water just drifting this edge and it's only 
ankle deep right up in the edges of right up in the edge of the mangrove at the moment so so the old three inch minnows is probably a fantastic presentation and size to get you into uh, soft plastic fishing if you've never given it a go it's um covers pretty much all estuary species we've caught everything on it haven't we miss from brim to flatties Dewey's, Taylor. Taylor. It is that versatile plastic. It's it's quite a um, got a good chunky, well not chunky, just a good body size about it. And that big grunter came off of pin fish as well. Oh, I did actually. By me, of course. So grunter as well. That's what Caitlin's trying to say. Just keeping it all about her. Um, but yes, it is that good profile to uh. To get into soft plastics fishing, it will cover you for most situations. And that big paddle tail is just going to vibrate. It's got a great action on a slow roll or a slow retrieve. So, even though I don't have a sounder, I can see there's good undulations in the bottom there made by those current lines. So, it's always worth running a plastic through those areas. Because there could just be a flathead sitting there. Platypus Stealth FC 10 pound leader. I'm just gonna do a quick and and dirty knot. Don't know what this knot's called, but it seems to work. for is a nice little just a loop and then pull it nice and tight done Caitlin you want to grab out the um jig, jig heads and tackle again please sure. See what I'm going to go with this time. I reckon that'll catch a fish. Three inch white slimmy, and I'll put Yabby Nipper on it. I'm going to start heading over to the other. Okay, I'm right. <laughs> I had to get retired. Oh, I, I like how we're fishing the open water and I can't catch a fish here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I just walked through it. That... It's because you would... No, I didn't. Oh, well, you make your mind up. Jeez. Stop. <laughs> just hoping that Don't lose that lure. That's the last pinfish in the tackle box. I don't know what it is. I'm just trying to scare it off for you. It's, it's, nice good, it's a good float. Yeah. Let it run. Let it, watch it, watch it, watch it. What am I saying? Let us... I'm thinking that you <laughs> you're not help you're not help me out here. <laughs> okay. Right, uh, put that in the rod hole before that's me. That's about 50, 50 centimeters. Bit bigger than that, hey? Don't lose it. No. Yeah, I'd say that's that's a uh, 55 model. This is awesome. Love how open water. Right, hey. Well done. <laughs> Do you want to hold it? Sure. You want a photo with it? Yep, sure. Alright, well, you have to just get the phone out of the back there. Yeah. So, once, once again, Caitlin, that pinfish is. I'm just trying to get it in the sun to give you a look. In, in the top there. Trying to get there, you go. Bit of sun in there, so that pinfish, three eighth headlocks, getting the job done again for Caitlin. Loving it. All right, so we just did the quick little, little photo sesh. Photo sesh for Caitlin. Let him go. See you later, little dude. Not really little. Nah, he wasn't little. He was a good one. See the bottom. It's very clear. 
Yeah, something just took off there. Yeah. So with the water being so clear, we're just trying to keep our distance from the edge a little bit. Just out of casting range really at the moment. And we're just gonna cruise along the edge of the Next the mangrove roots. Because all the bait fish and everything should be pushing up towards that edge, so guys, we want a snail. Yeah. A lot of undulations and stingray holes and stuff here, so there's plenty of good structure, good areas for fish to be hiding in. But on that high tide, you would expect the bait fish to be pushing up into the edge of those mangroves. So that's where we're aiming for. Yep, that was on the slow roll, that one. Yeah, he's only a little one. That's why he's over on the slow roll. Because it was little? Yep. <laughs> Alright, uh, talk it up. Alright, uh, there you go. He actually just chased that one up in the clear water. He's only a little taco. He's about the size of Caitlin's tadpole. Fish too. Okay, because Yeah, I've got a half a fish. That's right, Caitlin. But apparently it, 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 it classifies as a fish, so it's a nice little, beautiful little flatty, awesome tail. And he smashed that three inch pearl slim swims in a demon, so see you later, little dude. And he's away. You know what? I've caught a couple of fish. It's time to re procure. Yeah, be nipper this time. Why not? Great for seeing how our plastics react, eh? Hey? The theory this afternoon is that the, the bait's gonna be sitting up towards that edge, or a edge, and we're just gonna roll our plastics along the edge of it without getting hooked up too much. So we're just trying to stay short of those mangrove roots. Hopefully there's a couple of good flatties just sitting on that edge, waiting for it. This is where a set of Polaroids help when you're picking the edge, trying to make sure you're going to get that lure as close to the edge as possible without getting hooked up. I mean, personally, if I was a flathead, I wouldn't like to be sitting on a whole bed of mangrove roots, would I, Caitlin? I'd be, be sitting hard up against that edge, just waiting for the bait fish to come out. Yeah, well, you're a chance anyway here. High tide. Certainly not my favorite. None. But caught a couple of fish though. If you're not your favorite tide, it's good. plan this afternoon is we're just going to keep working this edge and then we're going to step out into I guess the main basin area where there's a oh yep right there just on the pause and yeah, don't know yeah, he's just another little one but he came up on the pause that one well, he's not too bad he's a bit big bigger than the other one a little bigger a little bigger Right, oh, sorry about the yeah. yeah, thanks for your help netting. Jeez. Not not much of a team player, are we? Nah, no, just joking. So yeah, there's another little flatty. He's probably what are we looking at? So he's in his forties. He's a he's a he's a keeper. If you're after a feed, it's his lucky day because we're not. Once again hammered the pearl three inch slimmy. Green demon's head. And uh, on the pause was the go, just off that edge like we were discussing. So happy days. See you later, little dude. And he's off. Right, hey, how you going? Thanks for uh, tuning into that little little session. So um, tricks for today on that incoming tide is we tried to work the edges or bits of structure that are likely to be holding 
a flathead or two. Um, Caitlin got all her fish on a three inch minnows pinfish by Z-Man. And I got mine on a three inch uh, pearl slim swims. Um, which, yeah, a bit of fun. Good way to spend an afternoon and finish off. So we're basically gonna have a few more casts now and hopefully get a, just one or two more fish on the way in, but I'm gonna call it a day. So hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got a trick or two. Catch you next time. See ya.